everyone, and welcome to another episode of the Dr. Music Podcast, where today I am joined by two fabulous singers. I got Mr. Terry Aluse and Brett Carlisle with me. Uh, Terry, of course, a singer, songwriter, session musician, all kinds of things in the music industry for more than 40 years. He had great success with the band XYZ, selling millions of records. He also spent nine years as the singer of Great White, recording three records with that band. Uh, Brett Carlisle, a 25-year-old singer based out of the Birmingham, Alabama area. He is the front man of the band All or Nothing, and he is the current singer of Great White. Great White. (laughs) Uh, There is a new single out called Dead or Alive, which we're going to find out all about, uh, from Terry Luce and George Lynch, and it features Brett and his band All or Nothing. Uh, Guys, it's great to have you here, man. I, 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 you know, Jody told me I'd have both of you here together, and I was like, no way. This is so cool. Uh, I appreciate your time, man. This is great. Thanks. Thanks for having us. Absolutely. Uh, you know, I, I see two different worlds in front of me. You know, uh, I'm gonna call you a kid, Brett, a 25 year old kid out of Alabama. And then I got the veteran Terry Loose with me. Uh, you know, he's done everything. Uh, you know, he knows all about the business. He, you know, a, a real veteran of, of the game. Uh, how do you guys come together? Uh, you know, it's not regional. You Alabama, and you know, out of based in L.A., right in California. So, how does this happen? How do you guys come together? Go ahead. Um. Because we don't know. (laughs) (laughs) But I said, go ahead. Uh, I guess my my manager's friends with Terry, and we did a show together, and we met up, and we've been doing shows together. That's why um, that's why we're together right now. We got a show in Birmingham tonight. It's gonna be awesome. Um, We're in the hotel room right now. So yeah, just friends of friends, good people. Man. That is awesome. That is really great. Uh, that's cool yeah. uh, to, to to have the you know, and it's and it's great for I think for both of you, uh, Brett, young guy starting out. Pretty much, you get a a veteran here giving you great advice. I'm sure showing you the ropes. Uh, and then Terry, it's great. You know, it's got to be great to hang out with a a young talented kid like this. Uh, <laughs> you know, it's, it's got to make you you feel. I mean, I watch the videos and stuff and the the clips on YouTube. Uh, Brett, you're dynamic, man. Um, it, it, it's Thanks. explosive. Uh, you know, it's that young energy and that that excitement of of just starting. Uh, it's 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 great. It's got to be great for both of you for sure. It's really cool. It is. Uh, I'm. I'm very happy to be to be working with Brett. I think Brett is a, has a lot of talent. He's a great singer and he has a bright future, and um, and he's also a, a, a wonderful person. So it says a lot. You know, um, just being a great singer is one thing, but also being a great person is 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 an is an add on. So. Uh, I'm I'm glad I, I like the kid a lot. I mean, I call him the kid, but I don't mean everybody to be, does. I, I don't mean to be. A, you know, we call it's him great. I call him the kid. It's funny because I first started to work with them. Mm. One of them was calling me dad. He was like, "Hey, dad." You know? <laughs> <laughs> so you know, but I call him the kid. But I don't like to be a demeaning. Don't don't, don't let this fool you. The mm-hmm. uh, Brett is uh, is definitely uh, someone that has a bright future for him, and uh, it's important to pass on the torch. I mean. I'm getting older and, um, uh, you know, I'm looking at the different things, you know, musically and, and Brett is the new generation and is here to, to continue doing uh, what we, we, we did before and, and even probably even better and hopefully better and um, do rock music. He's a, he's, a, he's a very, very talented kid. Mm, yeah and it's obvious for sure. <laughs> and you know i mean I, brett i've heard you talk and and it's you know like like terry was saying you know it's not just talent that gets you places it's you got to be a good person you got to be a pro uh and you know i can tell from what i've heard from you uh you got all those elements in in, in your personality as well as your your vocal talent so uh you Thank know you. looking forward to to a lot of, a big future for you for sure um Speaking of future, we, you know, I, I see, I hear this single, man, and Dead or Alive. It's just, you know, of course, you got George there playing guitar, and, you know, there's nobody quite like George. Uh, you know, that sound comes out right away. Um, this is a great song. 
Uh, will we hear more from, you know, Terry Lewis, George Lynch with Brett and all or nothing? Is there more of that uh, arrangement? I think so. Uh, it's just a matter of putting things together, um, uh, writing more songs. I'm looking forward to, to writing with uh, uh, Jacobs and, and writing with George as well and Brett as well. And um, um, uh, ironically, this first song was written for XYZ. It's funny. Uh, it was written for XYZ. Uh, I remember being in the studio and uh, a few years ago and we were about to record the song and then the band, as we know it now, um, the band wants to go to a different direction. So uh, they decided to to do something not as heavy metal, a little bit more pop. I would say I wouldn't say pop is the right word, but a little bit different. And uh, so Pat, my my partner, said, "Well, I don't, I don't want to do that song." And when I talked to Eric, uh, their manager, Eric, being a friend of mine, I said, "You know that song would be so good for the kids. I mean, the kids. Sorry." Yeah, <laughs> I mean, it would be so good for them and everything. And we're getting George in the picture. And Eric said, it's a great idea. And Eric, who's a master uh, businessman, put it every, put everything together. And uh, and here we are today working together. And apparently the song is doing great. It's got over 200,000 views. So yeah, it, with, no, with absolutely no promotion. I have to tell you that. We, we're not... It's, I mean, <clears> the <throat> first weeks we pushed it. We advertised it. Okay, we, we have a new song. Big deal. We're happy about it, and that's it, right? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Wow. And then on YouTube, it just went from there. So you guys should play that song live, you know? I mean, oh, no. yeah, yeah, man, it's just a killer. Uh, <laughs> you know, I mean, well, I'm old school. You know, I grew up with George and Dokken and, and X Y Z and you, Terry, oh, and you know, <laughs> all of those. That's all there. Uh, this is this is a. It's just a great, great song. Um, you know, it's. I'd, I'd love to hear more uh, of this type of thing, uh, for sure. You know, anybody who hears it is going to, you know, go crazy over this thing. Uh, and I noticed that, you know, the writing credits on it are XYZ, you know, Luz Fontaine, Hermosilla, and Shapiro. Um, you, you it's a couple of years ago, or is this, has this we, been on we, we, we got together, um, we started working on the new XYZ album about four years ago, and... Uh, <clears throat> Tony had a riff, and he played it for me, and I was like, okay, that's, that's good. But we didn't know what to do with it, so I got in the studio, and uh, I, I'm, I'm, I'm really a songwriter, so I put things together really fast, m melody, verses, bridge, all that stuff, and uh, Pat and I put the lyrics together, as usual. And then we recorded it, and it was, it was great. And I said, okay, let's do it. And Pat said, no, it's not XYZ anymore. It's, it's not what we want to do, and I, and I respect that. Mm -hmm. So again, I said, uh, let's do it with the, uh, you know, the boys, the kids, the big kids, and uh, <laughs> I love it. I love it. I don't care. I'm just like, yes, let's go. Yeah, it's so. way cool, man. Way cool. Now the video is cool too. I love watching artists work. I love watching artists create. Whether it's a painter or a singer or a guitar player or whatever, uh, mm -hmm. you know, you take something. I hold a guitar in my hands, nothing happens. I, uh, you know, I hold the paintbrush in my hands. You know, I don't get beautiful things in front of me. Uh, so watching this video is cool. Seeing you guys in the studio and stuff like that. Uh, is that how you recorded the song? You know, you guys are in the same room together. Do, were you in the same room recording the song? Yeah. Oh, I remember uh, that. Huh? Yeah, I was I was taking the videos and stuff. We were, we were all, it was, uh, Terry came in and he had the song and the, the structure of it worked out and everything. And then we... We just got together on the tones and the sounds and stuff, and it was collaborative. We had a good time. Man, it was fun. That's cool. That's cool. It's old school, man. That's, that's yeah. I love it. I love it. It's cool. Now, Brett, you're the singer for Great White now. Uh, yeah. That's that's huge. Um, Terry, of course, former singer for the band. Um, there's kind of a revolving door of singers in that band now. <laughs> you know, more so now than ever. Uh, you know, Andrew Freeman uh, just leaving the band. Um, of course, with Last in Line, we got a lot going on. Um, no, t knowing Terry's story with the band and and Andrew coming into the band, were you apprehensive to to take the gig? Uh, did you have any conditions? Um. I mean, I was just I was filling in for Andrew because he had the the last in line date, 
Mm -hmm. And then um, they asked me to do another one. And I said, yeah, I'm down to do it. So we'll we'll see where it goes. I think it's really cool. The guys have been really cool, fun, going new places. I'm excited. That's great, man. That's great. And you still got all or nothing, of course, right? Yeah. 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 Cool. That's that's great. And, you know, I mean, it's a, it's a nice balance, uh, I think. You know, it'll be it'll it's a little easier for you to, to manage those than it would be for Andrew with last in line, I'm sure. Uh, mm-hmm. So, yeah, that's cool. Terry, did you give him any advice? Give Brett any advice on the, uh, <laughs> the great white? <laughs> yeah, he said, don't suck. Don't suck. Be fine. Uh, no, I know. I, I... <laughs> I had at most. I mean, when I when I knew that he could eventually be the singer, I pushed for that because uh, I believe um, first of all, Great White is a great band, okay, mm-hmm. and um, and you have to realize that Jack is a friend of mine, and I've recently done a show with Jack. We have some more shows coming up, so um, I, I I thought it would be important to, to for for the band to have a great singer as well, another great singer. And first of all, Andrew and Mitch and, and everyone, they're all great singers, you know, as far as I'm concerned. There's no okay. such thing. But the original sound, the original sound comes from Jack. Let's not fool each other. Totally. Jack Russell is the original voice of Great White and will always be. The rest, us, him, myself and everything, we did very well. I mean, he's doing very well. But for me, the most important voice will always be Jack. That's to say. But mm. that's, you know... But uh, as far as advice, I just tell him to, to be himself and um, and to to just just be, basically to be himself. And uh, I don't have to give him that many advice because the kid is great. I mean, <laughs> what does he need me for? Except just uh, just you know, I told him something. I said, "Shut the fuck up." <laughs> <laughs> learn how to learn how to be quiet when you're not sure. Just shut <clears throat> up and. Uh, and that's it. Just to respect the band. You know, they've sold millions of albums. Respect the fans. And uh, remember, you didn't write those songs. It's the truth, you know. Right. Uh, you got to respect Jack always. And, mm-hmm. and uh, but, but he is. He doesn't need any advice. The kid is great. I mean, <laughs> yeah. look, look at him sing. I mean, just listen to him. He doesn't need advice from anyone. Um, mm-hmm. He's just, I, I'm, I'm happy for him. Believe me, I'm really, really happy for him. Uh, better him than anybody else. Put it this way. That's all I can say. Uh, uh, and I'm happy for, for the band Great White. I'm still friends with the guys. Uh, and uh, I wish him the very best. And I wish him the very best. Yeah. Yeah. And I, I'm really looking forward to it, you know. Um, and I, I love the professionalism. That's that, that's major. As I get older, you know, I, I, I've i seen unprofessional uh, singers musicians uh, like whom like whom <laughs> <laughs> i think we all know the stories you know um and it's it's ugly you know we we want fun out of our rock and roll you know we want to smile we want right. to feel good uh so you know seeing that professionalism especially out of somebody as young as yourself uh it, it's great to see it really is and i'm so glad for for great white too because i'm a huge fan um i've always loved the band all all portions of the band uh yeah <laughs> uh you guys have to have a a favorite uh great white song uh to do right terry what was yours when you were in the band when i was in the band i used to like to sing uh, save all your love i think it's a great song mm-hmm. and i used to like to sing uh a big time the one i wrote with uh the that guys. was really yeah. fun yeah. to yeah. sing i like I to sing that, that song uh yeah. this was my two favorite songs but the catalog itself is great and uh you know, it's really, uh, you know, the players are great. Audi is a good friend of mine, and uh, Mark is great. You know, what about you? Um, probably stick it. Oh, really? Probably oh, stick wow. it. Wow. Because yeah. it's, it's, it's a little heavy and everything, and it's got those couple of notes in there. The Shake high it! notes. Yeah. <laughs> it's, that one's it, just really fun. It don't get more old school than that. Uh, <laughs> that was the first <laughs> single, right? Yeah. Did, yeah, did, you yeah. The, did you see the original video? Uh, yes, and whenever, um, when the where were we? Yeah, we were in Florida, right? We played right. it, and I was like, How many old, old school great white fans we got here? Like, whoo! And I'm like, First album, somebody was like, You aren't even born yet. <laughs> <laughs> I said, Yeah, I wrote this song back in uh, 19, uh, <laughs> I think it was 1984. They released yep. the song, the crowd started laughing, it was, it was funny. 
Yeah, Very yeah, I definitely. saw I saw the band in '84 open for Judas Priest, and I uh, I remember that I was a fan from that day on. Uh, you know, I knew the band a little bit, but I saw them perform, especially that tune. And it was just, uh, it was the coolest thing, man. You know, I, I loved it. Uh, are, you from, are you from Los Angeles originally? No, no. I'm in Chicago. I've always been in the Chicago area. Chicago. Okay, good. Yeah. Good, good, good. Yeah. So, you know, seeing, seeing them perform that song, that's a, that's a great choice, man. That's really cool. Good. Um, I think about, you know, Brett, you you know stick it um and i saw you do a fast way song which you know i think is one of the great albums of that time uh you do and say say what you will say what you will that's a fun one uh, you know how do you know that song uh you know i work with a bunch of 25 year old kids um and i play this stuff and they have no clue uh, if, yeah. it's, if it's not in a video game or a meme on tiktok they don't know what it is you know what i mean right. it's Where's your education, your background in that music come from? Um, my dad had a bunch of CDs and I used to be home by myself a lot. And I took I was like eight years old and I started going through his CDs because I got this stereo for Christmas or something like that. And uh, I found Skid Row's first CD and then I heard Sebastian's voice on that. And I thought it was the coolest thing I'd ever heard. And it just went from there. Fast, fast way though that was actually eric's idea our manager um okay. he said he said you guys would kill this song we listened to it and we're like yeah we like that one so okay. we added on a couple of them that he liked wanted to hear us do and it just kind of stuck so yeah. yeah it was a great choice it was a great choice and of course dave king uh, with flogging molly uh, i don't know if you know that uh the singer now um uh, that was for fast way is singer for flogging molly which is completely different yeah, yeah uh, that's cool pretty, pretty cool yeah um terry what's the best piece of advice you received in your career uh about being successful in the music business because you've you've done this for a living which is extremely difficult um and you've done it for a very long time um with your talent um you know there are people with great talent that don't get to do that um so you have to do things the right way you have to be in the right place the right time is there a piece of advice that you've gotten in, in your career that you've used to make the career that you have today yes i think it's what the biggest piece of advice i would i would give to anyone is to be careful when it comes to business and friendship um um, sometimes <clears throat> you work with, you have to be able to dissociate the two. If you can't work with someone <clears throat> on the business level, there's also your friend and don't do it. Meaning, um, you're going to, it's going to create issues. Um, <clears throat> I always get paid before you get to get paid 30 days before and before getting on stage. That's very important. Don't expect money after the show. It's not going to happen. The guy's going to tell you, well, uh, guess what? There was not enough people, or blah, 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 blah. So uh, always get uh, paid before. And it's funny because you're telling this, telling me, because it just happened to me recently. I, I worked with someone for 15 years who was a friend of mine. And I made the mistake of uh, not realizing that sometimes you have to separate business and 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 uh, business and friendship. But I didn't. I said, oh, okay. He said, oh, I'll pay you after the show. And it, me being a veteran of, of the music scene, I'm like, I, I trust him and I don't trust him, but he's a good friend of mine. I'm not going to mention his name because I, I'm going to give him one more chance to pay me. But uh, <laughs> that's the last chance. <laughs> you know who you are when you go to this. <laughs> but uh, the thing is, uh, <clears throat> I never got paid thousands of dollars. And it's the biggest, um, it's the big mistake for me because I have never done that before. I usually get paid way before and before getting on stage. And uh, this time around, because I'm, uh, I went to friendship first. I said, no, it's okay. He's going to pay me after. Guess what? I never got paid. Four years later, I'm still chasing the money. So wow. one thing is very important is to separate business and friendship. Or if your best friend is your also your business partner, and if you get along very well and you can, you really, really know how to, to put those two together, good for you. Otherwise, separate the two. Business is business. Uh, uh, friendship is friendship. And that's it. You're going to lose one or the other anyway. So be careful. That's yeah. the biggest advice. And the other advice is to do what you want to do, um, meaning do what your heart tells you to do. You, you can't do music you don't like. You, you can't do music 
uh, if someone tells you, oh, you have to do this and, and your heart is not into it, then don't do it. Um, because uh, time passes so fast. By the time we know it, we're old and we're like, you know, I wish I would have done this, done that and that. And um, it, it's not good. You, you got to please yourself, meaning you do music. And I hate to say that, but I'm going to say it again. One should do music for himself, not for journalists, not for Rolling Stone magazines, not for interviews. One should do music for himself because in the essence we're musicians for ourselves because we are, this is who we are. We don't do music. I don't do music for, for women. I don't do music for money. I do music because I love music and, and it's, it's very important to me. I would never want to do a song or, or an album or something. I don't like, I passed on so many projects. So many bands contacted me. Do you want to sing? No, I'm not interested. Why? I, I make a good living doing other things. I don't need to be a, a millionaire doing something I don't like. So that's right. the thing. Do, do something with your with your heart. You know, just be be true to yourself. That's it. Yeah. Man, Any man. words on that, Brett? Uh, yeah, those are all those are all really good things. Um, that and I would just say treat people right, and what goes around comes around. Mm -hmm. Yeah, he's right. You treat people right, you know, because you. How old are you now? Twenty five. Mm -hmm. Damn. <laughs> it's so simple it's so simple but it works so well <laughs> yeah yeah and i i can say that for myself as well um you know i've had great things happen to me um because i'm i'm, I'm good to people i try i try my best to to be to be a good person uh and that's a that's a life lesson not only a a, a music business or you know a journalistic uh lesson it's uh you know it's a it's a life lesson it's a human lesson for sure uh mm -hmm. it, Terry, you ever keep a journal or think about a book? I'm going to write a book. I've been, uh, I've been, believe it or not, I've been contacted recently by someone asking me to, to, to write about my, my story, which is an interesting story because I don't come from, uh, I, as you know, I, I, I'm not a rock and roll kid per se, meaning uh, uh, born in, in the USA. I was born in Europe right. and, you know, and uh, uh, I have an interesting story and, um, I come from a very poor background, to say the least. My parents were very, very poor. My parents were immigrants, very poor. We we used to eat at the uh, at the uh, what's it called that place where you eat the free where you get free meals every day. The uh, shelter. Yeah, the shelter. You know, I was we were very poor. You know, we had no money. You know, so uh, and I came to America. I did okay. Um, it was a long journey and ups and downs in my life. I, I love. I. I uh, it's just an interesting story. So, yeah, I'm going to write a little book. I don't know who's going to read it. Good. Maybe maybe you my sister. One. Right you got one here. Cool. <laughs> you got one here. I, I'm all over it. I would love to hear that. Yeah, that, yeah. I know you have an interesting story. And, you know, I've been waiting. Uh, you know, it's. Uh, I'd love to hear your story for sure. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, Brett, do you keep a journal? Uh, you, you know, you've you've got a little bit of a journey already, uh, and mm -hmm. it's only going to get more interesting. Uh, do you do you write this stuff down as it happens? Uh, sometimes, I I kind of use my Instagram like a journal because I can scroll down and see when we played where and uh, what happened. And this funny thing happened when we were in Utah, and you know, so. Mm -hmm. It's cool. kind of like a visual journal for everybody to see. <laughs> yep, yep. It's off. Awesome. You know, I was I was looking at your Instagram. I think it was Instagram the other day. Uh, this was a little, maybe a week or two ago. Um, and you had you had met somebody at a store or something. And uh, the was it the elephant? Uh, uh I can't remember uh, the story. Yeah, yeah. I that uh, was I was working valet when that happened. Okay, yeah. Can you do you remember the, the 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 gist of it? Can you go? Can you go? Yeah. I just thought it was it was it spoke to me when I when I when I heard you talk about That's it. That's cool. Thank you. Cool. Um, this this lady, um, came. I was working valet for this restaurant, and this lady came. She said that she was from India. She was driving just a brand new BMW. It was really nice. It was really cool, and. I went and parked it, and when she came back out, the other guy went to go get it. And so I was standing there talking to her. I was like, I like your car. It's really cool. And um, she was like, you're going to have a car like that someday. I was like, cool, thanks. That's that's what I'm trying to do, you know? And she was like, it might not be today. It might not be tomorrow, but that just means it's going to be newer and nicer than mine. 
I'm like, that's cool. Mm -hmm. And she said that um, her grandmother used to always tell her to think like an elephant, do your own thing. Um, if you think like an ant and follow in line with everybody else, you'll only see the small things. So you got to set your own tempo, um, do your own thing, and you can enjoy the view. I was like, that in in a span of like five minutes, my mind was just kind of blown. I'm like, you are awesome. Can we talk? Like all day? <laughs> <laughs> like, yeah, you know, so. and, and that is, you know, something like that. Um, that's a that's a, a monumental kind of piece of advice. Um, in in a really um poignant way uh of, of speaking to somebody and uh you know there's special people out there like that you know i want to add something if you don't mind which is what he just said <clears throat> Please, yeah you know what you just said brett is very good you when she said one day you're going to have a car like that and your answer to her was oh that's cool that's cool i hope you know you, you were not negative about it and that's very important it's very important to never talk negatively about yourself oh i'm not yeah. going to do it i'm not because because if you say you won't right. and you're right there you go. if you whether you say yeah, I can do that, or I can't do that. Either way, right. You yeah. what? Either way is right. You know, the kid knows everything right. already. <laughs> and it's, it's, you, what you just said is so true. Never talk negative about yourself, you mm. know, because if you're going to hear that inside of you, you're going to hear it every day, your mind and everything, you're going to hear it, and then you're going to be negative, and everything you're going to, and not, you're going to achieve nothing. Always talk positive about yourself. It doesn't mean everything is peachy. Of right. course, nothing is peachy, right. you know, but find a different way to look at it. Yeah, like you, look different way to look at the situation. If you think, oh, this sucks or whatever, then you know mm -hmm. it. It might turn into something cool. Or I feel like you can find a positive in any situation if you really pay attention to it and just kind of feel out what's happening. Well, that's why you only need to stay in this business, my friend. You have a good attitude. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> We need we need you for sure. Uh, the business <laughs> I'm here. for sure. It's way 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 cool. Uh, Terry, you got a storyteller's gig that you're doing with Jack Russell. You mentioned before, uh, December sixteenth, you're doing Mickey's Black Box in Pennsylvania. Um, you recorded the Tom Petty cover with Jack. Uh, you're mm -hmm. doing a lot of things with Jack. Um, will we see more? Um, uh, possibly an album with Jack. I don't know if we're going to do an album because we both have a very busy schedule, but I can tell you that we're going to see dates. You're going to see dates. Uh, the show we did with Jack, the first show we did together was a lot of, was really a lot of fun. I mean, Jack is a comedian on stage and, <laughs> and, and so am I actually. So we both had a, we're both storytellers and um, we had a great time. Um, I really enjoy singing with him. It's funny because here I am working with one, uh, a member of, of Great White, and then working with another member of Great yeah. White. It feels like I'm, <laughs> I'm the glue between. Them, you know, I'm, I'm like, it's I don't awesome. Have a problem. I don't have a problem with the, the old X Y Z uh, Great White days. I don't. In fact, someone asked me yesterday. Said, "How do you feel about what happened? Uh, your days with Great White?" I'm like, "Those days were amazing. I mean, I had an amazing time, and I hope." Brett's going to have an amazing time as well. Uh, those days were amazing. The band was great. The fans were wonderful. You know, things happen. Things end. And it is what it is. I'm happy. They're happy. He's happy. Here you go. Nope. nope. <laughs> Can't ask for more than that, right? Yeah. <laughs> now, speaking of being happy, you guys got a show tonight. You got a yeah. show tomorrow night. Uh, yeah. What are you guys doing exactly? How, you know, what kind of show is it? What, you know, who's, who's doing what and what are you playing? Go ahead. So, um, my band, All or Nothing, AON, we're opening, and we're going to play some originals and everything, um, the ones that we have out, and we actually, we got some people with some cameras there, so we should have some pretty good footage of the stuff. Yeah. So, we're playing, and then XYZ is going to do their thing, and then we're going to go back out there with George and me and Terry are going to pass some songs back and forth. So it's it's really cool. Everybody gets along really well. And it's just a really we. There were so many comments from the show we did in Lidditz in Pennsylvania. Lidditz. She's not that place. I could never. It's a, it spells Lidditz. <laughs> it does. <laughs> I'm sorry. I know it's, people call it Lidditz, but it's spelled Lidditz. So <laughs> I went, the first time I went there, I said, 
Good evening, Letits. And people are like, what? <laughs> <laughs> the response from that show is really, really good. So it's, That's cool. it's really fun. There's a place called Le Bouche next to it, but I'm just saying. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, I love it. It's great. Uh, hey, am I going to see you guys in Chicago? Are you coming to Chicago in any kind of formation? Um, We might. Maybe soon. I'd yeah. be down. That'd be really cool. Chicago is cool. Yeah, cool. I don't. I would love to see you guys, man. Uh, I, this has been hey. great, man. I love you guys. I hope the best for both of you. Uh, have fun yeah. out there. You know, uh, that's really what it's all about. You know, enjoy your experience. Definitely. <laughs> Thank yes, you so sir. much, you guys. Uh, yeah, Thank you. Thank you. and my door is always open. Uh, anytime, you know, you got something new going on, please stop by again. Thank you. I'll for remember sure. that. Thank Thanks you for, for having much. us. All right. You bet. Take care, guys. Bye-bye. Have a good one. You too. Bye-bye.